Hey everybody, welcome back to the Photog Experience. On today's episode, I'm going to let you know just how you can travel the world while sitting on your couch. Stay tuned. So you're at home, the cruise blues has hit you, or the traveling bug starts to itch you, and you just need to explore somewhere new. You need to go to a different country. You need to go to your favorite theme park. You need to go somewhere. You need to do some sort of exploring and traveling. But you don't have the vacation days. You don't have the money. You don't have the time. In today's episode, I'm going to let you know just how you can travel the world, see amazing sights, while you're literally just sitting on your couch. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your computer and pull up your favorite web browser. Click on the URL section and go to www.google.com slash maps. Now you're thinking to yourself, why in the world would I go to Google Maps to travel or to see sites? And you're right at thinking that. It is kind of crazy. But Google Maps is an amazing tool, and I'm going to show you just how it works. So in April, my wife and I and her sister were going on a cruise out of New Orleans. I have never been in New Orleans before. I've never traveled there. I've never visited. And so I want to see just how New Orleans looks, what it has to offer. So in this search area, I'm going to type in New Orleans, Louisiana, and it pulls up this, it pulls up some recommended things on the side, um, hey, this is some quick facts about New Orleans, and it shows you in red, you can see this is New Orleans, how cool is that, I'm going to zoom in, right here is the Mississippi River, and this is the bridge, and this is actually where the port is, I'll show you all that in a moment. The main thing about New Orleans is the French Quarter. So let's zoom in a little more. Here's Jackson Square. Here's Cafe Du Mont. Here's even Bourbon Street. If you go down a little more, here's Canal Street. Now you're still thinking to yourself, how is this traveling? How do I get to see the sights? How do I get to feel like I'm there? If you go to this thing right here called satellite, and let's get rid of this real quick, you get to really see all the different buildings. But what's even cooler is you go down here to this little person, click on it, and now you can see all of these blue lines pop up. See how those show up, the blue lines? And see how there's a little green area underneath them? So let's, and see how there's a little green area and then it turns into a black area if you stop moving? Let go of your mouse. And bam, there you are on Canal Street. And what's amazing it's a full 360 view. Bourbon Street, Canal Street. How cool is this? Even cooler, if you put your mouse though, if you put your mouse towards the ground, you can click and you'll see an arrow and you literally move as you're going and you literally move and you can see all the different sites. If you can see, this is Bourbon Street. You want to take down, you want to take a stroll down Bourbon Street? Let's go. And we are now on Bourbon Street. 
it is like we are walking down Bourbon Street. How cool is that? So you don't want to look at Bourbon Street anymore. Hit the X and go out of it. So you want to check out Jackson Square. Pull a little man, drop him, and now you're in Jackson Square. Walk around all the different paths. And here's the statue of Andrew Jackson. And then you can see the St. Louis Cathedral, which is the which is the oldest cathedral in the continental US. How amazing is that? And here's a little courtyard area where they hold a lot of shops and a lot of art that you can buy. So cool. Say so that's not something you want to look at anymore. If you're a fan of football, here's their Mercedes Benz Stadium. You want to see what it looks like in the front of it. And this is what it looks like at the Mercedes Benz Superdome. I mean, you can go anywhere. All right, we're back to New Orleans. And I really wanted to check out the cruise port. If you zoom in, you can actually see a carnival ship here. Let's get our little person. And you see this blue line here? This is the Mississippi River. Let's go ahead and go on that blue line. Now it looks and feels like you are taking a trip on the Mississippi River. Let's go back out for a second. See how on this carnival ship there were some dots? Let's put a little man on the dot. Sometimes this gives you Sometimes this is really cool. You can actually go inside one of the cruise ships. Let's go back out. Now let's look at another photo. It's right here. Bam. And now we are on the Lido deck. All right. We're done with that. Say you wanted to go to New York City. Here's Manhattan. Here's Central Park. You wanted to know what it's like to be in the middle of Central Park. See all those blue lines? Bam. You are now in the middle of Central Park. You can walk the trails. Go out. What about looking at Times Square? You want to know what it feels like to be in the middle of Times Square. And here you go. Now, with Google Maps, it is not always 100% accurate or up-to-date. Um, sometimes it's lacking on being updated. But not all the time. Usually it's pretty, pretty accurate and pretty good. It's amazing.
How cool is this? Now, let's say you want to check out a beach. Let's go to South Beach in Miami. Check our little man. And see this line right on the beach? You are now on the beach in Miami, Florida. Walk down the beach if you want. There's a person taking a photo. <laughs> How cool is this? Now you will notice most everybody has their face blurred out. Just safety reasons. Let's go all the way down here. See if we can see any cruise ships. Yep, there's one. After the beach, say you want to go check out Stonehenge. Here's Stonehenge. Take out your little person. And now you are literally in the middle of Stonehenge. Now this does not work perfectly on everything. Sometimes it doesn't allow you to really walk through an area. Um, but there's usually, if there's a high tourist area, usually there is at least photos that you can see. One of my favorite things to do is you can actually go to some theme parks and walk around like you're there. We're in Orlando. What parks, what theme parks are in Orlando? Disney World, Orlando. So as you can see, we are now in Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Let's pull out our little guy. Let's go to just And let's go to Disney World. There's Cinderella's castle. And we are now inside of Disney World. We can go wherever we want. We don't have to be constrained to a walkthrough or someone else's video. Hey, look. There's a wall. So you want to get closer to the castle. You want to know what it really looks like. You want to know what the clock looks like. You want to walk through Cinderella's castle. The beautiful carousel. Let's say you're not a huge Disney fan. There's another park that you want to go to. Universal Studios Florida. Have you all been to Universal before? If you haven't, I highly recommend you check it out. And I'll actually go ahead and leave up in the iCard above where you can check out some of the vlogs 
some of my vlogs when I went to Universal. So if you've never been to Universal before, you know that there is a city walk area. It has a bunch of shops and places to eat and restaurants. Bam. You are now in City Walk at Universal Orlando. Let's take a stroll. So we're now in the fork in the road. This way is to Islands of Adventure. This way is to Universal. Let's go to Universal. See all these different shops. And there are the beautiful arches. Now let's go inside Universal. There's Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, Shrek 4D. Here's Rip Ride Rocket. Jimmy Fallon is down this way. Huh. This is before they really finally, they finished Jimmy Fallon. So it's a little old, but not too bad. The Mummy. But my favorite part at Universal Orlando is Diagon Alley. So let's go so let's go over and head to London. We're now here in London. There's the night bus. King's Cross Station. And through here is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Harry Potter World, Diagon Alley. You can walk all through Diagon Alley. The Leaky Cauldron. Nocturne Alley, Gringotts, and the Dragon. Ollivanders, if you're looking for a wand. Just so cool. So you're done with Islands of Adventure, and you want to check out Hogwarts. We're going to go on over to Islands of Adventure, and we are going to check out Hogwarts. Take our little man. Bam. We are now in Hogsmeade. Now if you see over here, this ride is no longer at Islands of Adventure. It is now Hagrid's mo motorbike ride. So it is not 100% accurate, but it's super close. So we are now walking through the streets of Hogsmeade. If we keep going this way, you get to see Hogwarts Castle. How cool is that? And that's all for today's video. So if you all like this video, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your comments down in the comment section below. If you have any questions or if you've been to places that you've never been able to go to before because of Google Maps. So in this channel, I like to give you tips and tricks on how to help improve your travel photography with some vlogs thrown in. 
So if that's something you're interested in, or travel tips just like today's video, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that I post. Y'all have a good night.